Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. It's Sunday morning and I'm having coffee in bed. I just edited my Vlogmas video. And um, it's a short one. I'm like, I feel like I'm vlogging my whole day, but then it's still like only like six minutes. I don't know if Vlogmas is supposed to be longer, but um, what do you think? What do you think of the length of them? Let me know. Um, I think just because it gets dark so early here, it's like, unless you're doing something, there's not really much else to vlog, do you know? I feel like it's made me realise um, how quick my day goes by. <laughs> but um, I am really happy I got my Christmas shopping done yesterday. Um, and I suppose there, if there was one thing that I probably could share with you, it's maybe some present ideas. Because I was really struggling and I was putting it off. Um, and I spent a good bit of time yesterday just thinking and looking and stuff. And there is... Um, a really good present website like for thoughtful gifts it's called um, not on the high street and i got just a few things on there another good website is etsy um so what i try to do is think about what does the person i'm buying for like and what are they interested in and to try and buy them something that's thoughtful related to that and then i try and get them something maybe substantial as well if there's enough budget left um and then for friends what did i get friends when it comes to friends, like getting them something cozy and something cute that they can enjoy, I think is important. And something thoughtful as well, something that you know that they'll like. And, oh, ASOS. ASOS have a really good, really good gift guide at the moment. I got a few bits on there. And that pretty much had me sorted. When it comes to my dad, I mean, I more or less get him the same thing every year unless there's something he needs. But, um, he loves gadgets. And he loves nice jumpers and slippers and all that kind of stuff. The usual dad stuff, a shirt, you know. So I got him something along those lines. I'm not going to say in case he decides to watch this. And, um, oh yeah, another good present idea is like an experience. Whether it's tickets, whether it's uh, a flight voucher, a hotel voucher, a spa voucher. Something that they can put towards something but it's still thoughtful. It's not just a voucher. Not that there's anything wrong with that, like I love vouchers, but some people, I know some people think that it means you haven't put much thought into it. So, yeah. Or I, do you know what I think would be a good present is a voucher as well as the thoughtful thing. Because then it allows them to kind of buy stuff that they want. I just think as we get older sometimes, I don't want to be buying people junk. I want to buy them something that they'll actually use or be happy to get. So, yeah. Um. Anyway, I'm going to finish editing this vlogmas. I get it up and then I'm going to finish my coffee and then go to the gym. Um, you're probably like, why are you going to the gym so much in December? I have a shoot on Friday and I just want to feel good for it. Besides the gym, my plan for today is, I don't really have one. I'm going to, um, I'm going to shoot something this afternoon, get some of those out of the way. I'm kind of at the stage now where there's just been so much on. Like photo wise, I'm like kind of getting sick of it. I kind of want uh, a little break where I can do more organic stuff for a while. But, uh, and I know like for people following me, it's annoying as well. But at the end of the day, like it's a busy month. I have to kind of just go with it because next month will be really quiet. And so, well, to start of February might be as well. Um, But yeah, other than that, I don't know what I'll do because I don't think there's many people around. Most people have gone home this weekend. But I just had too much to do, I couldn't go home. So you actually aren't gonna see my home house until I go home for Christmas, which is the 22nd. So we have another, say this today, the 9th, another 12 days. just about done I'm doing legs and bum today in the gym and my legs are literally like shaking but I've just one exercise left I will put in a screenshot of what I did I wasn't even I wasn't able to record much just because I was quite busy in the gym I did a little bit on my phone but um yeah okay so I am just about finished doing my makeup for today for um, running around and for I'm gonna take photos in town in about two hours 
but uh, I thought I'd run through kind of what I use in my, my makeup bag. I know I didn't show you step by step what I do, but I mean, my technique isn't isn't anything special. It's kind of normal enough. Um, so first of all, okay, let me start with my favorite product. I got this in October in Sephora in New York and I love it. It's the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. You can see like that's all I have left. I put it on before and after my makeup. Um, I have to put it on yet afterwards. But um, it's so good. It, it honestly just changes how your makeup looks. Like I find my skin looks so dewy and soft after it. I love it. So I'm gonna have to get more um, when I'm over in America in January. And then my foundation is the NARS um, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in shade Punjab. I used to wear Stromboli, but I can't actually get that shade anymore. But I find this is quite good. Um, concealer wise, NARS again. I use this in vanilla and I apply it with the concealer brush because I find it's just easier to get it to blend. Um, okay, let me think. Powder. After that, I usually put on a bit of powder, mainly in my T-zone because um, I don't want to lose like the dewiness of my skin completely. I'm using the Magic Powder for under eye and face um, from Charlotte Tilbury and I apply it with my Clarins brush. Next up for bronzer, a couple of months ago, I rediscovered Hoola by Benefit. I used to always wear it when I was a teenager and I, I just love it. I just think it's really natural and blends really well. And there's a reason I used it for so long when I was a teenager. So I'm back using this. I'll just show you the color. But the classic Hoola, can't go wrong. A new addition to my makeup bag is the Sculpted by Amy Connolly palette, which I love. Um, I actually haven't put on highlighter yet, I'm going to do that now. So I have my bronzer, my cream highlighter, you can see my camera there, <laughs> the powder highlighter and the blush. Um, I don't always wear blush, just sometimes, but um, actually, while you're here, I'll apply it. Okay, so I put on the powder first. I don't like, I don't like super highlighted unless like, unless I'm taking photos or going out during the, I wouldn't like overdo it otherwise. So that's the powder. And then the cream you just apply with your finger. I find the cream does make it extra shiny. And you know what? I am gonna put on blush today because I'm gonna wear a little bit of pink in my outfit, so it makes sense. Okay, eyeshadow wise, I change between my palettes all the time, as you would have seen in day one of Vlogmas. So at the moment, I'm using Born to Run Urban Decay palette, loads of colors, usually the nudes, but Aideen taught me the other day, like I used to just stop my eyeshadow here. She kind of taught me to bring it up a little bit more and blend it out. I feel like that makes such a difference. And after I have my eyeshadow done, I usually do mascara. This is my new favorite mascara, Lancome Hypnos Drama. It's really, really good. Um, I have put on a few individual lashes though today, so you can't really see it properly, but it's so good. I did like a comparison before and after on my Insta stories today. Um, and for individual lashes, I just put those on when I'm taking photos because I find it makes my eyes pop a little bit more. These are just the pennies ones, 150, so good. Um, and... That's everything. Oh wait, no, it's not. Brows. So for my brows at the moment, I'm using the Bare Minerals Brow Master. I also love the Tom Ford um, Brow Sculptor. I love the Charlotte Tilbury one. I love um, like a pencil kind of type that uh, that has a brush on the end. And I like when they're kind of thin that you can do hair strokes and stuff and make it look natural. So yeah, that's it. I'm just gonna apply my uh, Tatcha Skin Mist and I'm pretty much ready to go then. How could I forget lips? So this, these three are my go-to, they're in my handbag all the time. I just can't find anything I love more than them. So it's MAC World, love this. Um, Charlotte Tilbury New, Iconic Nude is a good one as well. It's a little bit more brownie. This one's kind of more pink. And then Charlotte Tilbury Nude Kate. This is my favorite nude. I think depending on your skin color and your hair color, it's hard, you know, like the type of nude that suits you will vary. I know some people find this too nude. But um, I really like it. For me, it's like a nice brownie, slightly pink, not too pink. And my Victoria's Secrets Candy Baby Lip Gloss. I actually love this. I've been using it for nearly six years. I'm back in my hat. 
curled my hair using the InStyler. And now I'm gonna go downstairs and have some lunch. God, you'd actually be surprised at how much time I went to do stories there, like showing my hair and the products I use and stuff. You'd be surprised how much time that takes. It's like 10 to two and I haven't had my lunch yet. Pretty hungry. <laughs> I am joining the two studiers here <laughs> for lunch. I'm gonna have my beef tacos. Oh. So good from Happy Food Co. Hi. Okay, I am finished lunch and now I'm gonna go up and uh, kind of pack up my outfits that I'm gonna shoot. I am meeting Connor from Visual Jungle, I'll put his username here, in town. Um, we're gonna try and shoot and it's nice and sunny today, so I'm gonna take full advantage. Okay, so now I'm just in one of the spots that I used to shoot in Dublin. It's really pretty old, the buildings are like cream and white. Um, and I'm just waiting for the photographer. It's actually not that cold today. Okay, so I just changed my outfit and I finished shooting the two looks with Connor. No. So you'll see those on my Instagram probably next week. I'm having a little break, I'm having a fulfill bar and a cup of green tea and I lit a candle and I'm watching Ariana Grande thank you next behind the scenes <laughs> I just listened back to the podcast I did the other day with Goss it's actually really nice it's 48 minutes I will link it in the description and if you want to listen listen we're talking all about my career um traveling my experience at the Victoria's Secret wow. fashion show oh, sorry still playing um where I hope to see myself, that kind of stuff. And it's just kind of like a nice chat. So I will link it below if you fancy listening. Okay. So now I am at Aideen's for our oh. annual Coachella AGM. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so ugly looking right now. We're the dedicated people. We're gonna book mm -hmm. the accommodation. So yeah, I hope everyone's happy with our choice. She provided snacks. Oh. Snacks. Snacks. And I have my laptop and we're gonna book. Okay, so we've made progress kind of. Kind of. We found um, some nice houses. Some of them are like 50 grand. <laughs> and some are like, we found some like reasonable ones. Yeah. <laughs> Frank's super interested. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> I'm concentrating. What are you looking up? You're definitely not looking up anything. Oh, yes. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah, we just need to figure out like, because it's so much money, it's like a lot of money. We gotta figure out how we can pay it and if everyone's definitely on board and stuff. And then we're gonna book. Okay guys, I'm home. We got our accommodation just booked, which is so exciting. So it's all confirmed um, and we're going again next year. Yay! We had our tickets, so we were going anyway. But it's good to be uh, organized now and to kind of know what our plan is. Now the outfit plan needs to start. I can't even think about it yet. That actually stresses me out to think about it. It took me months last year. Um, I'm gonna go to bed now. I'm up early in the morning. I have to be in town for a makeup collaboration I'm doing at 8 a.m. and rush hour traffic and all that stuff. So I have to be leaving really early. Um, but thank you for watching today. I hope you're still enjoying Vlogmas. Um, and I'm gonna do a giveaway soon because I reached the 10k, I promise. I'm just trying to figure out what I'll give away, but uh, I will do one. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow.